This is the city island state of Singapore. It is the smallest country in Southeast Asia, but this vibrant metropolis is a gateway to this part of the world. It was here, at the mouth of the Singapore River, that this nation was transformed from a fishing village into the bustling city that it is today. From this historic site, 10 teams will embark on a race around the world for 100,000 US dollars. Those 10 teams are Paula and Natasha, best friends from Thailand. Our parents were friends before we were born, so we pretty much know each other our whole lives. There will always be the team that other teams will underestimate, which will be an advantage for us if they do. And the race isn't all about brawn. It's like it's a lot of common sense as well and logic, and we've got a lot of um, yeah. we've got a lot of common sense. Rovilson and Mark, TV sports show rivals from the Philippines. Put all you got. The best thing about my teammate is that uh, he's not a quitter. He does adventure yeah. racing, and he is literally the pack horse, the mule. I know that he's always got my back. You can be as physically prepared as it. You can study all the maps, but in the end, this is this race is really all about luck. And it is. what's our saying? You live, live and die, die by your taxi, taxi driver. driver. Sisters from Malaysia, Pamela and Vanessa. Uh, we were sharing rooms uh, since like she was three, which is like almost 24 years. And we share things, we share our clothes, we share everything. Of course we get on each other's nerves no sometimes. Doubt. And we will fight and we have our differences. Yeah. But because we know after this, we will have our own separate life. Yeah. So probably this is something that we can actually do together now. Adrian and Colin, gym buddies from Singapore. Adrian is uh, a hearing impaired. Uh, he's been born with profound deafness in his years. So it's just like language that bridge the two of us together. I'm probably into the orchestra and outdoor. So if something I can make into it for us together. So even if a spoken language is a barrier to us, we're able to gesture and express. He's very expressive, you can see that. So, yeah. But in our teacher crab, my friend. Singaporean Sophie and French born Aurelia, ex roommates who had a falling out, now living separately in Hong Kong. It's kind of like we're different from other teens because we don't have a huge investment in our relationship. We already live together and we already had the clash, so it's done, you know, it can't happen again. That's a good part about it. And that's why this race is going to be very interesting for us because we're going to have to learn how to compromise with each other very quickly and just think so fast along the way. Red and Kinar dating for over two years from Indonesia. Even though she is a bit of a celebrity, um, she's in movies, she's in TV commercials, she's still really, really humble. I wish sometime I can be like him, you know, you can control everything without, bah! you know, like that. He's a nice person, he loves his family, and he loves me. And I love you too. <laughs> Ex-US Navy man Henry and wife Terry, married for 13 years from the Philippines. We have a lot of fun, but there's also some, some little things that trip up our relationship in this conflict. We always get through it, but it's just be a matter of how quickly we can uh, get through it and then move on to the whatever the task is. If he don't back out, I don't back out either. Yeah, it's like we like... clash. <laughs> <laughs> Monica and Edwin, dating for over 10 years from Hong Kong. Because we are in a relationship, I think it puts much more pressure on us. You know, you start evaluating your relationship and why isn't it working? But if we want to win, we have to put that aside and just sort of focus on the task at hand. Yeah, it's like a challenge for us to see if things would work out because we haven't done that in a long time. Long time. Anne and Diane. Dancing moms from Malaysia. I think we have a, a great advantage of having a lack of sleep, yeah. having, uh, you know, being on the go, always rushing, picking up one child, sending one child to tuition, bringing the other child back from school, etc., etc. It's also a once in a lifetime chance, so grab it. You don't want to turn 50, 60 and go, oh, I wish I did that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No regrets. Brother sister team, Daiichi and Sawaka from Japan. I think we get on, along really, really well. And a lot of people actually are sort of jealous of our relationship or actually they don't believe that we're such a good friend. It frustrates me that uh, she sings all the time. <laughs> <laughs> we're going on an amazing race to find ourselves and to discover our faith. Who will prove to be the best? Which team will fall by the wayside? Who will withstand the pressure of racing around the world? 
Let's find out as we get ready to race on The Amazing Race Asia. Time. The race is split into a number of legs, during which you have to complete various challenges as you make your way to each pit stop. In this race, you will face elimination at seven of these pit stops. If you are the last team to arrive, you will be eliminated. And let me warn you, this first leg may very well be one of those eliminations. When I give the word, you can run to your backpacks where you will find your first clue. The first team to cross the finish line at the end of the race will win $100,000. All right, everybody. The whole of Asia and beyond is waiting for you. Is everybody ready? Yeah! yeah! Close photograph matches up with a souvenir of a Singapore icon to be found on the dashboard of a flag taxi nearby. Locate the correct taxi and exchange the photograph. Locate the correct taxi and exchange the photograph for your next clue. You have $46 for the leg of this race. Okay. I know where is it. Go! The enclosed photographs match a souvenir on one of these taxi dashboards, each located within a 300 meter radius of the Asian Civilizations Museum. Once teams have located the correct taxi, they'll receive their next clue. Taxi! Everyone's going that side. I don't see any cabs over there, bro. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Just wait, just wait, just wait. There's a taxi there. It could be anywhere. Isn't that the Asian Civilization Museum? Paula, it's this. I think the museum should be on that side, dude. Taxi? Asian Civilization. Oh, no, we were on the other side of the bridge. Oh, yeah. Wait for me. Oh, the teams are coming back, so there's no taxis there. We just gotta find the taxi now. Taxi. It was hot. It was intense. We we're running it's around. So we we're nervous. Crazy stuff. Yeah. <laughs> we're looking for a taxi. Yeah. Okay. Make your way to Faber Point, Mount Faber. The Mer Lion is one of Singapore's best-known landmarks. Teams may risk losing a lot of time searching for their next clue at this specific mer lion located at the top of Mount Faber. Sometimes we feel like, okay, okay I, I need to be able to be the one to know. She's saying I'm so smart, I'm so intelligent. <laughs> so it's like, I have to, to try and live up to making sure that I know what I'm doing. Because she's really right <laughs> at the time. <laughs> Come on, hand grab, hurry up. Look at those caps, look at those caps. With decisions, I think we would. It's pretty equal, yeah. Yeah, I think it's pretty it equal. Is. Show them. No. Over there. Come on, over there. Excuse me. Come on, run, run, run. You gotta run faster. Come on. Or you carry your bag. Yeah, he's the one that Yeah, thank you very much. It's a route Good info. info. There are five major million monuments in Singapore. They're killing me. Oh, thank you. Damn it, that took so long. I'm extremely competitive. Uh, I don't even realize it at the time. Okay, let's go to Mount Faber. I've seen how competitive he can be. So any time that I falter, I know he's going to be there kicking my behind. Sir, what was your name again, sir? Mr. Lowe. Mr. Lowe. How low can you go? Singapore. I can't. Carry two bags. I can't. Like, I'm running faster than you with a bag. Sorry. We're both really strong personalities, and we sort of know what we want, but... Um, Times I kind of like, you know. Yeah. But well, at least they found the taxi. Yeah. Okay. Don't We should not think that they will undermine us because of the disability. I think we we want to think that they also feel threatened by 
us so that we will keep our gut up. Mm. And then for them to be actually doing this, where you have to actually use all your senses and then some, and then want to be missing one of those, that's so much respect for that. That's amazing. we got to figure this out fast. OK. This is nuts. There it is. OK, here you are. Yeah, thank you. Please be ours. Yes, thank you, thank you, thank you. Can we please go in that one first? I'm too sorry. Please hurry, but stay within the legal speed. He's got. Is that our clue? Is that our clue? Yes! What do we have next? Yes. Well, you're thinking about 100 meters. And I'm telling you, it's 300 meters. You know what? I think we should. Cheese, calm. Well, I'm more of the one who gets a little bit easily excited, so I think she will be the calming influence. I think what you need to do is do a little bit of uh, calm. Calm, yeah. take a deep breath. But just relax. <laughs> Take your time. Enjoy the view. Yeah, but we don't want to be the last one. If this is the Asian Museum, uh -huh. if you walk okay, this way, no, listen. No, I no, keep no. going when you're talking. Dude, I'm dead already. I can't even move. Come on! Our Ed was carrying two bags and looking quite lost too, so hopefully they are lost. <laughs> What I love about her most is that she's spontaneous. I mean, you never, you never really know what's going to happen when you're around. I'm a it's, box of it's, chocolate. It's, <laughs> it's always you something You never new. know what you're going to get. I know we've already been here. No, we haven't. We've been here. Come on, Mount Saber. Where are you? You live and die by your taxi driver. I hope it's this secluded, quiet place when we're the only team to arrive and get the clue first. <laughs> pen, pen, pen. Oh, there, there, there. OK. You see it? Yeah, up there. <laughs> OK, quick. We're going up. No, I see that. It's up there, it's up there. <gasps> We got to the right, okay. Use the GPS application on the Nokia N95 to guide your taxi driver to the following coordinates where you must search for your next clue. Teams must use the GPS function on their Nokia N95 to guide their taxi to this location where they will find their next clue. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. Ladies, I got it. Tara. Use the GPS application on the Nokia N95 to guide your taxi driver to the following coordinates. Well, you must search for your next clue. Let's go down to the taxi. All right, taxi, taxi. Cab driver. OK, uncle, we're going to use this device, this handphone, Nokia N95, and we need to direct you according to this. Okay, what are you going to do? Um, we're supposed to follow the GPS. We have to follow GPS now. All right, we're going. At the end of the road, turn right. Turn right at the end of the road. Like you're A, uh, J, follow the road, turn left in the movie. After 100 meters, turn left. Turn left. Then hold it, see ya! Turn left, yes. Yeah. Oh no, turn, go straight. Use the GPS application on the Nokia N95 to guide your taxi driver. Be great in like life. Mark, take a shower, you filthy pig. <laughs> he can make me laugh in any situation. Uh, so it's nice to have someone that we that can just you can pay out on back and forth. Wilson, don't date her. She's foul. Kilometer, keep right. We're gonna be on top, but more times than than often, we're gonna be at the bottom, and you are just gonna need some ray of of, of comedy. Just a way to laugh at yourself to just get you through that, that pit. Okay, Uncle, press your speedometer to zero and then go straight on. A lot of teams are missing. This is pretty scary, it actually. Is. We can only hope and pray that, uh, uh, who knows, maybe someone's still looking for a taxi. Yeah. If I'm gonna carry your bag like this every baby, day. Baby, I promise I'll throw out everything. I'll throw out everything. It'll just be like an empty backpack. Who needs shampoo? And we're gonna find this thing and we're gonna be happy, we're gonna be happy, happy, happy. It's up there, is it? It's up there, from there? Do they have a clue? Wait, stop, 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 stop. There they are, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, okay, yeah, there they are. Yeah. Let's go, run. Okay, let's go. Come on, come on, come on. It's here! It's here! 
is a choice between two tasks, each with its own pros and cons. In this detour, at the imposing towers of Suntech City, teams must choose between dare or stare. In dare, teams must take an elevator to the rooftop of Tower 3, then Tyrolean traverse to Tower 4 to receive their next clue. This task can be completed quickly, but only if both team members have nerves of steel. The towers stand at a hair-raising 181 meters, which could be too daunting for some. In stair, teams must climb 45 floors to the rooftop of Tower 3. They must then return to the lobby and climb 45 floors of Tower 4 to receive their next clue. This task will push teams to their physical limits and could take a long time to complete. We're going to select Dare, Tyrone Traverse. Yeah, we're going to do the Dare. Go to Sunset Tower 3. We'll choose that. Sunset Tower 3, Sunset Tower 1. Okay. Quick, quick, quick. Quick, quick. At the end of the road, turn right. Okay, this is correct, this is correct. Yeah, keep going. At the end of the road, turn right, please. We're the last team there. Wait, we're going to be eliminated. Okay, just stop. Okay, let's just stop. There's a clue box there, there's a clue box there. Stop. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Uh... You have reached your destination. Those guys are monsters. Just because he has a uh, hearing impairment means nothing. Right. Got it. Okay, good, good. Uh, Is it okay? <laughs> Here's the next clue. Three, oh, 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 Three. Oh, I see it. I okay, see it. here. Stair. Stair, definitely. Who wants to go 43 floors like stairs with no elevator? Are you ready? Here we go. Is it just there? There. All the way. Yeah. No, we're going to use it there. All right. Bring it down a bit. We thought it's just going to be like, whoo! Going down something fast and quick but scary. And we got up there and it's like... When you look down, it is scary. Going. Mark, turn it. Do it in reverse. It is the same flower. It is. Look. Which one? This one? This is ours? Yes, it says common sense is the key for this race. It's zipping along on the sun. I'm sorry, I got you. I got you. Son of a bitch. I should have got a girl partner. This is it here. Thank you. Yeah, that's the book. It's probably here. Yeah, but there's the box. Oh, okay, here. Careful, careful. Stop, stop. One place left. Blue box, blue box. Two box, two. Let's do it there. Yeah. Both Tyrone and Traverse from Tower 3 to Tower 4 will you receive your next clue. Oh, I dare? say we do dare. Okay. Do something dare. crazy. Dare. And she me. She me. Slowly, that good. slowly. What's new girl in floor 34? Stop checking out the chicks. We're in a race. So you can actually pull. Okay. Like that, don't pull, okay? don't pull. Yeah, she might not want to be pulled, okay? okay. Just do it slow, nice slowly. Here's your clue. Oh, thank you. I got it! Put it back! Oh, it's another one? It's the last one. Okay. 
Okay. Use your GPS application on the Nokia, on Nokia N95 to guide your taxi driver to the following coordinates. Well, you must search for your next clue. Oh, it's really good. Team number six. Seven, seven, seven. So, second number, take eight. Okay. So. And I'm doing all the work and she's not doing anything. Go and look down. Say bye-bye. Paul, you're doing good, you're doing good. Good job, Paul. Between freaking buildings, man. I'm like, scared, I can do this. I'm so proud of you. Come on! Almost there! Come on! Almost there! Come on! Come on! You'll be fine, Daichi. I have a phobia of heights and I can't even cross a, a small bridge. You're alright, you're alright. Do well. Yeah. Okay, step down onto the. That's it, step down. Oh my god. I couldn't I open my eyes. I was like <laughs> oh, wait. 40 meters apart. We're 160 okay. meters high. You okay with the heights? Yeah. Okay. Sure? Yeah. Don't look down. I will survive. I thought it would be just so much easier for me to close my eyes and sing a song and just get across. Wow, that was good. Cool. Thank you. There's your next clue. Go now, go. Good one. Philippines to the Asian Commonwealth Park CCP complex. Search your next clue. Yeah, let's go! Philippines, here we come! Teams must now fly to Manila, the capital city of the Philippines, and home to 10 million people. When they arrive, they must find the Asian Promenade Park CCP complex and search for their next clue. All right. The highlight of today was ripping open that envelope, and it says, travel to Manila, Philippines. That's right. Make your way to Manila, Philippines, and to the Asian Promenade Park CCP complex where you must search for your next clue. Up to airport terminal. The route and Make your way to Manila, Philippines, and to the Asian Promenade Park. Make your way to Manila, Philippines. Make your way to Manila, Philippines. Uncle, can you go to the airport? Yeah, airport. airport. Diane, take your bag. I know where. Oh, you you can do it in the car. Sitting in the chair? Actually, I'm afraid of height, but because I think I'm the last, I just don't care about it. I just go. <laughs> There's a saying in Japanese, you have hair in your heart, <laughs> meaning you're really strong-hearted. Because I'm not afraid of heights, I do really think that I do have like, some hair in my heart. Keep looking straight. Uh, are you ready? Um, no. I really wish I was wearing different pants right now. My hands are shaking, my muscles are bulging, not really. <laughs> That was so fun. Okay, give me hugs. Okay, we you. love you. We okay, love you, Mr. Lowe. You. Champion effort. None. It's stupid to do. Hello. We want like to buy the kids to Manila. Right lane, right lane. Right lane faster. You're so slow. So slow. Go faster, faster. All right, you got that? Can you enter the highway up here? Got it? All right. My man. Okay, we're close. Almost there. Thank you. We'd like the fastest ticket to Paris, France. No, no, we're just, we're just kidding. kidding. Manila, Philippines. Manila, Send Manila. them to Paris. That will take it. Ask you now one. Make your way to Manila! And to the Asian Promenade Park, where you must search for your next clue. Yeah. To the airport, please. Thank you. The, the, the Japanese team is right there. You have reached your destination. We just have to find the next clue. Hold on to this. You can hold anything. You can't do anything. Just don't hinder us. That's all. Once go ahead. Go listen, ahead. no, no, no. We got to do it. No, together. God, that's what I say. Go ahead. Then, look, for, look, look for God that thing right now. Eh? Where? Eh? Oh, yeah. Edwin! He's right there. He's right there. We're already done resting. Oh, there it is. Yeah. It's a detour. Dare or stare? Come on, girl. Let's do dare. Detour. Dare to stare. We just gotta get in a harness and fly through the air. Okay. All right, let's go. It feels like we're in the race now. Yeah. You know how they always say, don't look down? I really did not look, look down. down. <laughs> 
Yeah. They always, like in the movies, they always make the mistake to go like this. I didn't do that. <laughs> yeah, you're close. No wonder you're slow. Oh. I was like, ah. Because we had given birth and gone through labor, which you can't imagine. So that's a whole lot more pain than what these challenges would be. Thanks. Information counter. Oh god, we have one hour. Maybe we can still make it, no checking luggage. Okay, Philippine Airlines. 125, Singapore, Singapore Airlines. Airlines. Here, here, here. Here. This way. We got nines. They're still there, they're right there. Yo, we're gonna hook this up, we're gonna catch up. We'll be back in business. Right there while we hook you up. I don't know. I'm ready to do anything. Let's do this. I'm so tired. I was pulling that rope like there was no tomorrow. And I was like, wow, I can't believe I did this. Oh, it's okay. All right, let's go. All right, let's go. She's at gate number one. 125, you have one hour. We have two tickets to the earliest 125. Next plane to Manila, please. As far front as possible. Please. Let's go. We only got about three minutes. Make your way to Manila, Philippines. <laughs> <In the> Asia... <laughs> <laughs> to the Asian Promenade Park CCP complex, where you must search for your next clue. Oh, you're home. going home. Spaghetti, ba 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 ba. We're going to the airport. We're going home! We're going to the Philippines! Hi, we're going to Manila. Manila. Oh, we just wanted to go to the Philippines. We're going home! <laughs> 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 it's just a flat to Manila. Thank you. Thanks. Okay. Thank you very Thank much. You. Thank you. Come on up. All right, Bye -bye. thanks. Check, just check information. No, we want to buy purchase tickets. Ticket. Are there a lot of airlines going to Manila? Flights. Not even in the rest of this terminal? You sure? We have no flight at the moment. No other airline? Is there any more airport here? All right, thank okay. you. Bye. All right, thank you. Thank you. We still got hours before we can leave Singapore. Giving up? Yeah, I'm done. All teens, except for Henry and Terry, and Monica and Edwin, are now heading to Manila, Philippines, 2,394 kilometers from Singapore. No one wants to be in that position, yeah. but at the end of the day, this is a game, this is a race, and we don't want to come last. Yeah. The remaining teams must board the next available flight. Taxi! Good driver, good driver, yeah? CCP complex, you know? OK, put it in, put it behind. You know how to get the Asian promenade park? Over there, over there, over there. Take it, take it, take it. Yes, yes. Welcome to sunny Philippines, heart of the tropical isles. Please hurry. Please hurry, we're in a race. Will we make it on time? Mark and I know that if you take Ross Boulevard, you're going to be there for a while. So we're hoping they did take that and we'll see. So this is the big jump that we want. Is that the road, Cavite Mapcapagal? Do you know other other way to go to yes. the place? Yeah. Where are you going? He's following it. They're doing the same thing as us. Keep going straight, maybe. Maybe turn to the lights. Keep going straight. Well, I don't know. Oh, sh What? All right, there's a team ahead of us. Is this Asian Promenade Park? We're going Ready? in, we're going in, we're going in. OK, I'm, I'm taking a guess here. OK, no. Oh, yeah, this is the park. Oh, we didn't go to the park. All right, quick, OK. Way to the Plaza Miranda in front of the Capo Church, Kesson Boulevard, Capo Mill. Find a smart balut duck seller. Teams must find this balut seller in Plaza Miranda and eat eight balut, the infamous delicacy of Filipino culture, commonly believed to be an aphrodisiac. Each team must eat eight, eight, eight balut eggs. Let's go. Each team must eat eight balut eggs, okay? So when you open it up, you will see the beak, the eyes, maybe even a little bit of feathers, certainly some veins. Is this a CCP? Yeah, dude. And go, go, go. That's the CCP complex. Security guard said the park is this one. 
This is the part where we are going to the complex. Okay, we are going to go and have a look here. Okay, that is a CCP complex, so it should be that one, right? Yeah, but we're going for the part, right? Yeah. Yeah. And, 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 and! Take it. Okay, and now disappear. Come, come. We'll be right back. Is that CCP? Okay. okay. Thank you. Make your way to the Plaza Miranda. Hello, sorry, is this Asian Promenade Park? Can we have the taxi, please? It's really urgent. We really need to go. It's please. really, really urgent. Please, please, in the competition. please. Fire Mark Balut, Ducks Egg Salad. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Can you go fast, fast, fast? And we need to find a Mark Balut's Egg Salad. See ya. Across the road. What are they doing, though? Ah! Well done. <laughs> step up, step up, step up, step up. More left. Okay. You Make say? your way to the Plaza Miranda. Each team must eat a date balloon. Okay. Maybe you shouldn't say it so loud. Oh, sorry. Because I don't want to hear what I'm going to eat. I'm about to eat duck embryo. Yum, yum. Doesn't I look happy? Yeah, just duck imagine egg. scrambled egg mm. yeah. with little duck ducks. <laughs> <laughs> oh. yeah. okay, okay. challenge. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. I want to eat. Okay. All right. Quick, quick. Go ahead. You got it. Make, Make your, your way, way to, to the Plaza Miranda. It's how much eat. I eat a little bit. You know what aphrodisiac is? No. Aphrodisiac means it gives you a bit of a sex drive. Oh, really? Yeah. Like if you eat a uh, oysters, oyster. yeah, or tiger penis, and or lamb, yeah, lamb. You just drive quickly to the Plaza Miranda. Okay, uh, not my arms. Just calm down. A balloon is a fertilized duck egg with a nearly developed embryo oh. inside that is boiled and eaten ah. in the shell. Really? Uncle, you need to go a little bit faster. Are we I here? see all the cars passing you on the left and on the right. Right. Where is the balloon egg seller? Here, here, here. Balloon egg seller. Give it up. Give it up. Give it up. What do we do? Just eat it, crack it open. <laughs> Don't look at it. I'll do it. This way, this way. There. Look good. Look good. No way. You're on top of the world, and then all of a sudden it comes crashing down when you see, see another team, team right there in front of you. What? Once the premier defense fortress for the Spanish colony in the Philippines, Fort Santiago is the first stop of the race. The last thing to check in here may be eliminated. Fort Santiago. Oh, I got a feather, a feather. Hey, it. Oh, that was new. Oh. Oh, okay, come on. Make your way to Fort Santiago. Santiago. This, this is, is the, the first piece of the race. Um, you know? Yeah. Victoria? The cab driver will. <laughs> the fastest way. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we, can, uh, we can always hire a GP. Go. Let's go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Okay, come, Diane. Let's stay together. There's a church. It's over around here. Make your way to Fort Santiago. Rain. This is embarrassing. Until those girls are inhuman. Hey, it tastes good. The funny thing is, when you eat well, the you know we got a lot of protein. The crunchy part was the beak. That's why it was like. I really does not seem to understand what an embryo is. And I just told her that it's a developing baby duck. 
Yeah, she's just preparing my appetite. Oh, this is gross. <laughs> Eight balloon eggs for dinner. All right, here we go. Mm. This one's not so bad. It's worse if you look at it. It's worse to suck them. <laughs> You're crazy. No water? Not sauce. I think I'm a very competitive person. I've, I've always played sports my whole life, so that's where... I guess I get that edge of always trying to win. Yeah, me too. We like when clues say, find, find your way. way. Because, because we will find any way. We will crawl, we will skateboard, rollerblade, we will, we will bungee know. jump, we'll skip there. We exactly. love it. Exactly. We'll be jumping on the back of old granny saying, hee -haw! Yeah. Oh, I hit my ear. <laughs> Port Santiago's at the end of this road. Where? Wouldn't it be so great if we could come in first in the Philippines? And we were gunning for that so hard. We wanted it. We could we, taste it. Yeah, we wanted it so bad. Mom, wait for me. Give me the back. Give me the back. Mabuhay. Welcome to the Philippines. Thank you. Pamela and Vanessa, you are team number one. But I have some more good news for you, too. For winning the first leg of this race, you've each won a Nokia N95 and Nokia N73 That's mobile phone. She said, That's I won, won this phone. Yes. After I used it, I said, I won this phone. I'm going to win this phone. It's all right. Drop the bag. Hey, hey, hey. Welcome to the Philippines. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you. Give it to us. Come well, on. and Mark, your team number two. Oh, we'll take it. We'll we will, it. we will. Oh. There we go. Where are the meter taxis? If we're last, then you can throw your fit right away. How about that? Can you hear something? I don't think so. Driver, how, how far is CCP from here? Thanks. This is awesome, yeah. really? That's enough. Aphrodisiac, huh? <laughs> Port Santiago, we're on it. Let's go. Here, here. Port Santiago. Santiago. Come quick. All right, let's have dinner. Come on, come on. We need a cab. Port Santiago. Yeah. Port Santiago. Okay. But that seems like a church. Oh, there is many churches. No balloons around here. Failure to complete the challenge may include a penalty, but it doesn't say where you find it. Mm -mm. Yeah. Let's go for it. Oh. In frost with oyster paprizak, much more appealing. I have never seen anyone who can talk and swallow and chew at the same time. Last one to go. And I think I will need some water if you don't want me to puke on the rest of the eggs. All the way up to the airport. All the way to the airport. Uh, huh? So we came back down and uh, it, the journey should have been 10 minutes, but we wasted about 25 minutes just on the road. And he did a cheer, like go, woo, come on! Woo! You see all the local faces and it just really brings it back to the fact that we're in like a new country after, you know, one afternoon and it's just, it's incredible. Eight eggs! See, eight eggs. 
office, I was like the most introverted I think I've ever been. I just like zoned out. I didn't say a word. One more. Come on, baby, chill. <laughs> no. All right. All right, come on, girl. You see the clue box? Oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. There it is. Wait, where's the CCP complex? If the box is over, over where? Over there. Over there? Hey guys. Anybody? Anybody see like a box? Over there. Yes. Thank you guys. You guys are awesome. They must eat eight balloon eggs. Eight. Okay, let's open the clue. Find a marked ballot or a duck egg seller. Each team must eat eight ballot eggs. What is ballot eggs? Oh, and he got the wing. Everyone! Woo! Thank you! Thank you! Thank you! Thank you! Thank you! Done, done, done. Hey, let's go. Thank you! Make your way to Fort Santiago. This is the first pit stop of the race. Who is that? Seems to be right. I'm just hoping that she's gonna be so knackered at the end of the day that she will talk less and I would I would it would make me it would make my life a lot easier. Okay, we are here. Okay, Baba, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go! Fort Santiago, yes! Go, 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 go! There's a camera over here! Mabuhay, welcome to the Philippines. Thank, thank you, thank you. And in Diane, you are team number three. Oh. Oh. Mabuhay, welcome to the Philippines. Thank you. Thanks. Brett and Kinar, you are team number four. Oh, oh better. Mabuhay, welcome to the Philippines. Thank you so much. Aurelia and Sophie. Yes, salam. You are team number five. Oh, oh, good. Yeah, it's good oh, number. Gosh, five. Yeah, pull up, pull up, pull up. Oh, Santiago. Let's see. Can we please go to Fort Santiago? Belispo. Belispo, please. Belispo, Belispo, Belispo. Fort Santiago, please, as soon as possible. Right here. Yeah, get your bag, get your bag. I already want to throw up. I'm going to eat, man. I don't care what's inside. Uh-uh. <laughs> Other teams might look, uh, look at us first, kind of as, uh, like the, as old the, old, the old couple. I may think that we're not going to do well. They'll quickly find out as they start to drop out, as they start to pack their stuff and go home, and they we're still racing. One by one. They'll, they'll find we're out. We're going to send them one by one. Mess it up, mess it up! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Over here? Yeah, thank you. E eat this hard part. Yeah. Give me the hard part, girl. That's right. Come on, chew it. Drink some water. Hurry up. Ah! Where is it? Where is it? Look at me. Let's do it. <coughs> Make your way to Fort Santiago. This is the first pit stop of the race. Oh, that was really good. Come on, girl. Please listen to me. There's a guy back taxi. This is the way. I know, I know that. But that That's what I already asked the guy. He what? said the taxi is over here. I know. When we go up there, it's gonna come this way. Trust me. One more. Go! I can't go without you, girl. We're a team. I, that's that's why I said go! Ridiculous, he doesn't know his way. This is the first hit stop of her. Oh my god, we're here. You don't know? Can we ask somebody? Stay, stay. Oh, goodness. Mabuhai, welcome to the Philippines. Thank you. Hi. 
Paula and Natasha, your team number six. Make your way to Fort Santiago. This is the first pit stop. Hurry, the last team who arrive will be eliminated. The strategy. Like, I don't think like, up, 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 up. Mellow, mellow, mellow at first. Mellow at first. Mellow, mellow, mellow. <laughs> if I get frustrated and I've been ignored, my mouth won't stop. Even if they pull my feet, they told me not to talk for two hours, it's not gonna happen. Excuse me. Can you please take your taxi? We're in a huge rush. Come on, come on, come on. Fort Santiago. Oh, I feel like crap. Five. Huh? I had four. Why did you eat five? Let's go. Colin Adrian? Yes. You are team number seven. Sawaka and Daiichi, you are team number eight. Yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Henry and Terry. Yes. You are team number nine. Oh! 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 Oh, hi, welcome to the village. Hi. Monica and Ned, you are team number 10. I'm sorry to tell you that you're the last team to arrive. I have some more news for you. This is a predetermined non-elimination round. Yes! You two are still in the race. Yeah. However, there's a flip side. Okay. You must be first to the pit stop in the next leg. Otherwise, you will incur a 30 minute time penalty, which ultimately may put you in last place and see you being eliminated. Do you understand? Everything that went wrong basically went wrong on the first day. Tomorrow's just gonna be better and I will look forward yeah, to tomorrow. It can't be worse. It can't be worse.